this week's feast, Los Pollos Hermanos Blue Meth Cupcakes. Science, bitch! Hey everybody, how's it going? So it's finally here. We're making the Breaking Bad recipe. Yeah, yeah. that's right, Jimmy Pinkman. Yeah, but yeah. we have something super special for you guys that we assure you, you've never seen. We're gonna mix it up, and to do so, we've also brought in a very special guest, esteemed colleague, Dr. Crystal, no pun intended, who is an actual doctor. We're not actual chefs, but we have someone that's gonna help us out. Just bringing a little bit of chemistry to the cooking and talking about crystallization, and you know, cooking's actually science. That's right, <laughs> not an exact science, as I've known, but this is a recipe that requires very exact numbers. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're gonna do is dissolve our sugar, corn syrup, and water in a saucepan over low heat. Mm -hmm. So now that it's nice and dissolved, we're going to crank the heat up, stick in our candy thermometer, and we're going to try and get this sucker to a hot 295 degrees. You can prepare a wax paper sheet or a foil sheet on a baking pan, which you're going to pour it out onto when it's all said and done. The reason that we boil on the liquid is to get rid of all of the water. So we've dissolved the sugar, we've made a saturated solution, but we need the solution to be super saturated in order for it to crystallize, which means we have to get rid of all of the water. So when the sugar molecules start to come in contact with each other, they form a rigid structure, which is what we call the sugar crystal. This crystal will start to build once um, there's enough water removed from the situation that the sugar can come into contact with each other. And now for the very special ingredient. Yo, what are you doing? Yo, man, chili pea! No, get that chili pea out of here. So it's reached its temperature, it's there. We don't want to overcook it because it will caramelize, as you mm -hmm. said. Not a good thing. We want to keep this as liquidy as possible. I'm going to put in the extract for the flavor. Blue colored dye. Yeah. Whoa. Chemical yes. reaction. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we're actually wearing these suits. <laughs> <laughs> Now that it is all nice and poured out, you can wait for it to cool out in the open or you can stick it in the freezer to uh, expedite the process. 10 seconds of voiceover and go. First, make some cupcakes. Then slice off the tops of each of them to make them a bit more flat. Prepare a bag of frosting. You can also use a Ziploc bag. Layer up your cupcakes, then do a big swirling circle and boom, you're done. All right, so it's cooled down. Would you ladies do the honors of letting out all the aggression you've had pent up about anything, really? You go yep. first. All right. Yeah, and it tastes good too. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great job. Go team. Sticky <laughs> high five. So now we've entered Ashley's uh, expertise. And uh, what are we going to be doing? This is my lab. This is your lab. This is your cupcake lab. And he is truly my bitch. Yo, bitch. <laughs> Yo, Miss Adams, tell me what to do. I'm going to get Dr. Crystal to assist me on this. We are actually going to uh, put our label around the cupcakes to turn them into buckets of chicken. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use a little scotch tape and tape it around. So we've made the blue meth, we've made the cupcakes, we're about to set these mofos off. On fire with some chicken. Yes. Or is it chicken? Thank you, Gustavo, I mean, Jimmy Pinkman. <laughs> There'll be another link below on how to make them, but they are actually pretzel sticks, little marshmallows all covered in vanilla, and marshmallows covered in caramel, and then frosted flakes to look just like a real chicken. We're gonna put two on each. So it looks like a chicken basket. So what I'm gonna do is just stick little pieces in. I actually wanted to point out what we have here with this hard pack candy yeah. that we've broken up with the hammer is actually different than pure sugar crystals, which is this rock candy that we had over here. Mm -hmm. These are probably pure sucrose crystals. They're actually legitimately crystals. Whereas what we have here are fragments of the hard crack candy which we prevented from forming actual crystals by the use of a corn syrup. This is looking great. Okay, well, I think we're about done. Yo, 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 Mr. White Delicious Hard Candy, yo. Yo, this was easy to make. Better than chemistry in high school, yo. Fun recipes, tasty results, bitch. Ashley, your craftiness has, again, come to the forefront. Oh, your craftiness beautiful. too. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having it's always me. Good it was to have... so much fun. Yeah, her yeah. science craftiness. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Whoa. Oh, so good. Looks like real chicken too, guys. Mm -hmm. I know. That's the best part. I'm gonna get some of this pretzel stick. See you next week.
Thank you.